Good afternoon, North Penn. Welcome to week eight of Phys Ed Fun Fridays. I'm Mr. Sayers, your guest host from Nap Elementary School. Let's get things started with the Weather Center and Tropical Storm, Mr. Crater. Let's see what's in store for us on the weekend. Thank you, Mr. Sayers. Thanks for sending it over my way. By the way, great to see you back at the desk where you belong. We all know you taught Mr. Theodore everything he knows, and you gave him his chance in the spotlight, and he's doing a great job, don't get me wrong. But we all know that you're the brains behind the operation. It's good to see you back. As you can see behind me, Mr. Sayers, pretty busy out here outside the studio. It's a nasty day, a lot of rain, but it's not slowing things down. The cabs are running, everything's going. What we're gonna do is we're gonna give you a look out west. If you look out west, you can see the drone footage. This is a from the Irvin Drone Service, Irvin Cam, coming out, drone footage from the west. This is the weather we have coming, so clearing up from the west coming through, I'm gonna get you right to our weekend forecast because that's what you're all here for. On Saturday, morning rain, little bit of morning showers, looking great on Saturday. We're giving that one a four on the Foresto radar scale, as you can see. Moving over to Sunday, perfect day. Much more mild, much more pleasant day. And you can see you're getting a five on the Foresto radar scale on that one. So have a great weekend, North Penn. Mr. Sayers, back to you. Amazing. He has zero experience in weather forecasting. No credentials whatsoever in meteorology. Yet he's always spot on on his forecasts. I don't know how he does it. Well, boys and girls, when Mr. Theodore asked me to guest host this week, I wasn't sure exactly what I wanted my point of interest to be. I was unclear on which direction I wanted the show to go in. So naturally, I did what we all do when we have a problem in the phys ed department. I seek the help of AM Culp teacher, Mr. Carroll. And here's what he told me. And I quote, these are very different times that we are all going through. There are a lot of ways people handle stressful situations. What you have to do, Mr. Sayers, is find what way works best for you. And sometimes the answer can't be found sitting all by yourself in a lonely room worrying. But perhaps instead going outside, taking a walk, and using your eyes to focus on what's really going on around you. When he finished speaking, I didn't question him. I stood up, put my sneakers on, and I was walking. Come join me. A sack of clothes Free and easy down the road I go Hanging memories on the high line poles Free and easy down the road I go Free and easy down the road I go Up. Ragweeds rocking
can try to enjoy the ride I couldn't make a million or wind up broke easy down the road I go Can't take it with you when you go So free and easy down the road I go Someday I know it's gonna take me home So free and easy down the road I go Free and easy down the road I go On the high line poles Free and easy down the road I go Free and easy down the road I go Up. Ragweed's rocking on the radio Hi kids, don't forget to wash your hands, have a great summer! Hi kids! Get out in the sunshine and exercise! Don't forget to keep reading! Keep your social distancing with kids! Do your homework and listen to mom and dad! And don't forget to wash your hands! Woo! Sunday stroll, free and easy down the road I go, free and easy down the road I go, if you only get to go around one time, I'm gonna sit back and try to enjoy the ride. That was a great walk. Mr. Carroll was right. There are heroes everywhere. Whether it's your parents, teachers, nurses, firemen, police, all you have to do is use your eyes and look around. Speaking of heroes, Wednesday's online Olympic day was spectacular. The effort that you put in to that event was amazing. Boys and girls, we are so happy. We had over 700 videos sent to us. Unfortunately, we can't put all 700 videos on our show this week. So we took some videos at random and we're gonna show them to you today. Get ready. They are also amazing.
Did you know the first Olympics were held as a religious festival in Greece from 776 BC until 393 AD? The games were revived in 1894 by a French educator. What's going on, North Penn Elementary students? This is Mr. Irvin reporting for North Penn Phys Ed Television. What? What, buddy? I'm in the middle of something. For real? What, Jake? Wait, there's a brown bear in the woods? Seriously, just keep an eye on it. Hold on, I'll be right there. We, I have to finish this report. Yeah, don't get close. Seriously, buddy, stay away. But keep an eye on it. All right, I'll be right there. All right, I got to move quick. Here we go. Our question on our segment, getting to know your phys ed teacher is, who was your hero growing up? Who was your hero growing up? And today, we're using the old spatula. Woo -woo! All right, let's hear what they have to say. See ya. I'm coming, buddy. I'll be right there. Hey, North Penn, this is Mr. Carroll. And my hero was my father. My father was a swim coach and physical education teacher here at North Penn for 37 years. And uh, what I admired most about him was the relationships he built with his students and his, uh, and his swimmers. And to this day, he still keeps in touch with lots of them uh, through social media and things like that. But uh, my father was my hero. Hey, it's Miss Johnson. This week I was asked who was my childhood hero. It was my grandmother, Anguish, my mother's mom. I got to spend lots of time with her up till the age of 10. And then I moved from Oneida, New York, here to Pennsylvania. And after that, I would go and spend two weeks um, during the summer with she and my grandfather. But she instilled a lot of things in me of kindness, loving others, accepting others. Um, she was a Girl Scout leader. She did ceramics. She was very creative, but most of all, very loving person. And that's where I get all my gray hair from. It's from my grandmother. 
Hey, North Penn, Mr. Foresto here. My childhood hero was my grandfather, Francis Foresto. One thing I always remembered about him was that he loved his garden and he spent a lot of time out in his garden. I guess you could say I followed in his footsteps. Hey there, North Penn. I was asked who my hero was when I was growing up, and it was my mom. She was there for me all the time, through the good times and through the bad. Yep, it was my mom. I love you, Mom. My hero growing up. Well, this is us. This is me at six years old with my big brother, John, who was 13 at the time. I just thought he was the coolest. He had the nicest friends. He was great at sports. But most importantly, he was kind. He was kind to others and he was kind to me. He stuck up for me when people made fun of me for being short, for having braces, big ears, giant glasses. He was always there for me. He truly is the best and he's still my best friend today. My superhero is Pele. He's a Brazilian soccer player. He was my idol growing up. He scored a ton of goals. My favorite hero growing up was this man named Dr. J. He played basketball for the 76ers. He played for over 20 years and he never won a championship until in 1983, him and the Sixers beat Magic Johnson and the Los Angeles Lakers. When all the reporters went over to him with everyone celebrating and cheering on the team, Dr. J was sitting by himself with a sad look. The reporter asked him, Dr. J, aren't you happy you won the championship finally? And he looked right at the reporter and he said, I just want to go back out there and play again. Win or lose, it's the competition. It's being in the battle that I want. And with that, that was Dr. J. He was also a great dunker. Yo, Scotty, what's up, buddy? Yo, what's up, Fat Five Freddy? Yo, brother, I'm calling you because this week we have to share who our hero was growing up. I know, man. I didn't do that one yet. It's a tough one. I had so many heroes growing up, it's hard to pick from. How about you? Yes, same here, dude, man. Same here. It's hard to pick. You know, sometimes it's weird. You don't realize who your hero is until you're a little bit older. Like, I don't want to say grow up a little bit because neither of us grew up much, but when we get a little older. <laughs> I don't know, we act like kids. But you know what? I can see that. It's kind of hard. So, you know, let's just take a second to think. Is there anyone now, like in our professional career as phys ed teachers, that we look up to and like we admire as a hero? Wait, are you thinking what I'm thinking? I'm thinking what you're thinking. Yep. Yep. Mr. Peanut himself. Barry, Barry, Mr. North, Mr. Penn, North himself. Penn himself, Sayers, Sayers. babe. That's a no-brainer, man. That's a no-brainer. Wait, Mr. Sayers is a no-brainer? <laughs> no, not Mr. Sayers being brainless. Him is our hero, dude. That is perfect. Mr. We love Sayers, you, Mr. Sayers. Love you, <laughs> uh, let's see. My hero... From a very young age, I knew that I wanted to go into physical education, um, and with that, there is no better person to admire and look up to than Mr. Aquarius. Um, he is just the founder of fun in physical education. Um, he just has a certain way that he presents himself and and holds his classes that is just admired by everybody. And any phys ed teacher will tell you that 
his methods really are the foundation to what our whole profession is about moving forward. So my hero growing up is definitely Mr. Aquarius. Hey North Ben, it's Mrs. Muller. Hmm, my childhood hero? I don't know, that's a little tough. Hmm. I think definitely during the summer it was the ice cream man. There was nothing like hearing that sound and the music coming from the truck and waiting outside till he got there and then getting our ice cream on a hot summer night. Hello North Penn, Mr. P here. My heroes growing up were my sixth grade teachers at Hatfield Elementary. I had to pull out my old yearbook for this, but here it goes. So those four individuals right, right there, they are the four people that made me want to become a teacher. So starting right here is Mr. Kuhn, then Ms. Heil, Mr. Yetter, and Mr. Oates. Three of those teachers are still teaching today, but those four people right there, they're the reason I became a teacher. Yo, North Penn, it's Mr. Muller here. Uh, so this, this week we have the question, who was your childhood hero? I'm gonna go with Mr. Dalton from Round Meadow Elementary School. He was my PE teacher back in the day. In fact, he's actually retiring this year. Um, the reason why I would choose him is because he was the man. He was awesome. Uh, the moment you walked in, he made you feel special. Um, he actually had a nickname for every one of his students. And my nickname was Jean-Claude Van Damme. And if you don't know who that is, he was a big time action hero back in the day when I was a kid. So I felt pretty cool having that nickname. Hey North Penn, Mr. Bowen here. My hero growing up was my fourth grade teacher from Hatfield Elementary, Mr. Slug. He was a great teacher. He was the teacher for me that taught me how to love reading. At the time as a fourth grader, I was interested in playing games in the neighborhood and running around and not so much reading. And he taught me how to choose things that interest me, which really helped me turn the corner with my reading skills and really enjoy reading to this day. So I appreciate everything you did. Thanks, Mr. Slug. Woo! That was a lot of walking and a lot of fun. Now, boys and girls, it's time for Happy Health Tips with Mrs. Henderson. Take it away, Mrs. Henderson. Hello, North Penn. This is Mrs. Henderson with another healthy snack recipe for you. This one is called the Nutty Cheese Spread. What you will need is a 1 8 ounce package of cream cheese, half a cup shredded cheddar cheese, half a cup chopped walnuts, quarter cup milk, two tablespoons parsley, one eighth teaspoon of onion powder, and then anything that you think that you would like to spread it on later, celery sticks, apple slices, crackers, whatever you wish to spread it on. Instructions, in a mixing bowl, bring cream cheese and cheddar cheese to room temperature. And then you will add the walnuts, milk, parsley, and onion powder. Stir until combined. Cover and chill up to about 24 hours. To serve, spread it on what you wish to. Celery sticks, apple slices, crackers. I actually do this one on celery sticks for when I go out gothing. So I have a little snack during my gothing. Enjoy. Well, boys and girls, that wraps up another edition of Phys Ed Fun Friday. I was so happy hey, to be- what are you doing here? Mr. Theodore, this what? is my show. What do you think you're doing? Well- Just because I step out for a minute, you come over here and hijack my show? It doesn't work that way. Well, Mr. Theodore, I, watching the Wednesday Olympic Day and the outstanding job Mr. Muller did, I just thought maybe I could step in and kind of do like he did. You, you, you'll never be as good as Mr. Muller was. He takes full credit, and he should be given full credit for that opening ceremonies video. He did a fantastic job of putting that together, and we thank him for that. But no, you are not Mr. Muller, so get out of here and let me finish the show. 
So anyway, now that I'm back for the end of the show, it's, it's time for us to start the weekly challenge videos from last week, like we do and we end every week. So without further ado, so without further ado, thanks again for participating in Olympic Day this past Wednesday. We really appreciate all of your support and kind emails that we received. And we're going to end our show this week like we did, like we do every week with our weekly challenge videos. So, so long. And don't forget, next week's Phys Ed Fun Fridays is the last one of the year. So you don't want to miss that one. Until then, we'll see you, North Penn. Stay strong.
40 North Penn families. <laughs> Good morning, North Penn families, and welcome to week eight of North Penn's Fun Friday Film Festival. <laughs> Good morning, North Penn families, and well, not good morning. It's afternoon. <laughs> good afternoon. <laughs> afternoon, North Penn families, and welcome to week eight of Phys Ed Fun Fridays. I'm your guest host this week, Mr. Stairs from Nap Elementary School. Let's get started with Chief Meteorologist. Oh, I had it! Oh, wait. What was I going to I mean, I wanted to say something after. I was going to have you. I was thinking about it on the way over. Mr. Carroll was right. All you have to do is use your eyes, boys and girls. There's heroes everywhere. Just look around. And without further ado. Oh, oh, I was... <laughs> boys and girls, Mr. Carroll was right. Sometimes taking a walk helps you see things clearer. Speaking... <laughs> Boys and girls, Mr. Carroll was right. Sometimes a walk does help you see things clear. <laughs> Five. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Boys and girls, that was a great walk. Mr. Carroll was right. There are heroes everywhere. Speaking of heroes, on Wednesday... <laughs> Boys and girls, that was a great walk. Mr. Here... <laughs> Boys and girls, Mr. Carroll was right. There are heroes everywhere. <laughs> 